What is up guys, this is Driven by Biku from Out of Bounds Club. Today, I'm in San Diego. And you know what that means. When you're in San Diego, you gotta golf. So I just got out of work, this is a quick work trip. One day, um, I'm actually gonna meet up with one of my buddies who is also part of Out of Bounds Club, his name is Brian. Dude is an absolute stick, he's a sandbagger, but uh, he is an ex-collegiate baseball player, so you already know he has a fast ass swing. I'll be playing with him. Hopefully, we'll finish 18 holes. If not, probably 15 holes. So wish me luck. I'll probably shoot 14 over. Um, but I will vlog so you can see everything. He also has a pretty cool forerunner. Uh, I'll do a walk around and I'll have him talk about his build. But let's get it going. This is a quick preview of SoCal traffic. It's taking me 30 minutes to go 15 miles and I've been sitting in traffic for another 30 minutes. All right, I just got to the course. There's his car. He's probably there somewhere. Look at this guy. <laughs> what up, B? What up? Oh, dude. What's going on, brother? Yeah, look, look, he's all dripped out. I'm literally, look, I'm literally I'm... dripping in sweat. <laughs> all right, let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> All right, y'all, look at this sandbag right here. Like I said, like I said, that's what happens when you play D1 baseball, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you play D1 or what? No. What, you, what was the division? NAI. <laughs> so that means instead of 350 yards, he only drives it about 340. But look at this, look at this swing. Look at this guy, and he's, he's hitting with blades. Hey, one more time, B. One more time for the YouTube. Oh, fat. <laughs> Sandbag again. Like I said, he doesn't want to show off all his good <laughs> swings for YouTube, but we're teeing off in like 10 minutes. Wish me luck again. Like I said, I'm going to shoot 14 over. Let's do it. Boys and girls, I'm Brian here teeing off. Play well, man. Right down the middle. All right, how do you feel, man? How do you feel so far? Balls in play. Balls in play. I'll take it. So balls in play for Brian, but your boy went left. Play, we play lateral, so I'm gonna drop. They're hitting three, and hopefully, I can go up and down for a quadruple bogey. You feel me? Yeah, check out this hat real quick. Shout out, to, shout out to my boy Brandon with the Highland Trail Club. Yes, sir. Repping out of bounds club. Let's get it. This guy, he literally just named, called out the yardage to the T. What's wrong with you? Is that a Filipino thing or what? I guess. All right, so his ball's right here. Right rough. 165 yards. Let's see if he can get it. All right, get that good swing in. Unfortunately, your boy got to take a drop. We got about 160 yards. Got a nice eight iron, I think. Short is good. All right, so I ended up being greenside. Texas wedge for a bird of luck. Give her a chance. Let's go. Oh, 
about it with your purse. Come on, dude. What do you drive a Prius, brother? <laughs> All right. So instead of this being a instead of this being a course vlog, you're gonna see a couple golf shots. But I do want to ask you some questions, B. So for the viewers out there that that watch all three of you guys, he did play college baseball. So my first question is, what was your favorite experience in college baseball? Favorite experience? Probably being a game away from the World Series. Um, that's like everybody's goal in college baseball is just to make it to the World Series, no matter what division, uh, NAIA, uh, NCAA D2, D1. Um, for NAIA, it was actually Idaho, and we were a game away. We played the number one team in the nation at the time, Lee Lee University, and man. Shout out to Lee University for beating this guy. Dude, they were good. They were a bunch of D1 kickbacks. So I don't think you guys who don't play sports know or understand how hard it is to even play college. So I played volleyball in high school for D1, and then we wrestled as well. For volleyball, we won city championships. We went to state and we lost. But this guy went to Worlds, which is a different league in itself. So, <laughs> which is why he's hitting 300-yard bombs. Oh, bad! Supposedly, this guy got good eyes in terms of challenge distance, right? So that's how far we are. I'm gonna tell him to guess the distance, and I'm gonna range it. What do you think? About 205. 205. All right. Record me ranging it so they know. He said, so this guy says 205, right? <laughs> it's 201 yards. <laughs> Damn, he's pretty good. <laughs> what the heck? 200 yards, slightly into the wind. What are you hitting? Uh, I'm going to hit a three iron. Three iron. That's where he has right rough. This is a really long par four, guys. Oh no, topped it. Skip. <laughs> 145, over the water. Stuck it. Let's go, baby. Boys and girls. Can't we be like Highland Brian or Brandon, dude? Yeah. All right, so this is gonna be what our fifth hole, third, fourth hole, whatever. It doesn't matter. I suck ass. <laughs> um, so right now you're kind of in the off-road overlanding community, right? How did you get into that scene? Me? Yeah. I grew up. Um, I was in the tuner scene, and I had a I had a Supra, I had a Type R before, and. I don't know, me and my fiance just decided we wanted a car to travel and we couldn't do that in a two-seater. <laughs> now we have dogs, so. So that's that's why Brian got into the overlanding off-roading community. We're gonna ask him more questions in the next hole. All right, so I don't, what hole are we on, Brian? Looks like we're hole five. So we're on hole five and we're not doing so well, which is why we're not filming each hole because I don't think you guys wanna watch bad golf but you do want to watch good golf. So I got 123 yards left. Got a pitching wedge in hand. You know, I finally hit one fairway. You see that? Just excuse that, that, that little patch right there. You know, this isn't, this isn't Torrey Pines. You feel me? All right, let's get this. 123 yards, pitching wedge. I said you want to see a good shot so we throwing darts baby <laughs> here all right so when brian just hit a freaking where is it 350 yard drive this guy is an absolute unit and then chunks it all right how many yards do you think you got left brother five 85 with the wind in my face 85 wind in the face what are you using 56 
Alright. All you, brother. Hey, but you going up and down. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh. Hey, but that hat, though. That hat nice, though, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Another question for you, Brian. If you had the dream three-car lineup, Ooh. what would it be? Dream three-car lineup. Uh, we have to think about that one. Nah, uh, you got you got five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, hurry, hurry. It's, uh, Mark IV. Supra. Uh, Art. Yep. What year? Uh, ninety-eight. Okay. Uh, R thirty-four V spec, NUR. Okay. <laughs> Nissan. Okay. And then shoot, what's my last one? Probably Land Cruiser. 80, 80 series. 80 series Lancers. All right, this guy got taste. I like that. My my three car lineup would be Acura NSX. I would also do my GX 460 because that's my dream car. You feel me? And then Porsche GT3 RS. Let's get it. We on the back nine, and the question that I would like to ask you, Brian, is if you could be one golfer for a day, who would it be? Tiger, of course. Tiger? Yeah. Damn. I think I know why he wants to be Tiger, because he got that dog in him. <laughs> How can I complain, guys? Life is good. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And make some bogeys.